Alrighty, a little subtlety here that we uh, probably didn't pick up on when we are doing the logistics phase uh, a few chits ago. When we uh, do the logistics phase, we're looking for lines of communication and uh, supply lines, I believe. Let me just uh, double check that for you. <coughs> playing the Dark Valley in case you're wondering what game we're playing. Uh, logistics chits. Mark all the units out of supply if they currently have no line of supply. And remove OOS markers if they got back into supply. Mark an isolated unit with no line of communications. Okay, so we can do that. Now, uh, this guy here, and so we do that, uh, and I marked everybody as isolated as opposed to where they were out of supply, out of supply. Uh, but in my move phase, here, I could have put this unit here, and then I would have had a line of communication because a line of communication can be any length, uh, as long as it's free of zones of control and whatnot, back to uh, something, back to a, uh, what is it, to, I forget now, he said, scrambling through the rules. Whatever, I think it's back to a, blah, where is it? Back to a friendly uh, supply source, right. Yeah, okay. So we could have kept that guy from being isolated. And in the attrition phase, he would not be eliminated. So what we're going to do is just leave those two guys. We'll move this guy and leave that guy there. And we'll pretend that didn't happen. Now, the thing is, uh, uh, he would have, however, been out of supply because he's more than five hexes away from a supply line. So that was interesting. Now here, here's an interesting thing here. I had a unit adjacent to these guys and when we did the line of communications check, they were okay. They actually were okay, not isolated. They were actually out of supply though. Now if I had have left the unit adjacent to him, he would have been eliminated. Uh, but because I didn't, he's now just still out of supply. So that was a bit of a, bit of a, faux pas on the Germans part and these guys are out of supply they're not adjacent to anybody this guy is adjacent to this dude who is in supply so he would be eliminated we take him off the board I believe that's right Let me just check that keep double checking this because it's just the supply stuff and the line of communication stuff is a little bit all over the place there's facts in the uh, chit draw in terms of the process and then there's the rules in the supply effects section. Uh, hang on one second. Oh, please, where is it? If not eliminated, they remain isolated unless they are judged to be out of supply, in which case they have the supply status changed to out of supply. What, 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 Okay, so you're only going to be eliminated if you're isolated. It doesn't make sense. Let me just pause this for a second, I'll come right back to you. Yeah, so if you're isolated and you can't trace a line of supply and you're adjacent to an enemy unit, you're eliminated as well. So that dude is eliminated, that took him out, right? Yep, so he's out. These guys are isolated but not adjacent, and you can't see them, but uh, so they're okay. He's okay. He is now, he was not isolated but is now out of supply. So I think that's okay. And then up there, up here, I've already, uh, already whacked some of the guys up here. We've got to do the rest up here, so I might as well do that with you while we're here. This dude is both out of supply. He was actually out of supply, not isolated. And in fact, he was isolated as well because he had the hexes, uh, the zones of control covering him. So he's out. This dude is going to be out because he's got socks all around him. And this dude is going to be out. And we'll take that off and we'll take that off. Now, as you can see where the black blocks are, I've moved the supply, the mobile supply units is what I call them, they're called something else here, supply depots. Now you roll a die on a table and then you add two to it for the opening turn to reflect the various 
advantages of the attack that the Germans had and all the rest of it and all this ability to move supplies forward and so that's where we'll be starting turn two with supply and uh, the forces at hand. I also had an opportunity to move the, Ger the Soviet forces started putting units into the fortified zones uh, or, or um, they're not fortified, they're uh, reinforced or defensive works or something like that is what they're called and then I thought it might be worthwhile having a look at the total losses and uh, we can add up all the factors uh, and I'll, I'll let you know what they are but you can see there was a pretty hefty loss uh, count for the Soviets this turn. Hang on just one sec. So the Soviets lost 71 factors in the first turn uh, and the Germans lost uh, three divisions for a total of five factors plus step losses on uh, some forces and so uh, and in fact that's a good point I actually may have to take uh, adjust well it's too late now but what I should have done for instance with one of these attacks up here is rather than take the step loss and eliminate a unit sorry eliminate the unit versus taking a step loss I should have taken a step loss so a two-step unit has to take a loss before you kill off one of these smaller guys uh, I think I only did that once, made that mistake once. All right, so there you go. There's the first turn done. Uh, it's right at my cap of uh, 10 chits in a turn, uh, so it's bearable, and uh, I'm enjoying it so far. We'll see what happens.